he would rather catch – you remember the the one against the Bills where he took it, caught it like 15 yards deep and took it about 50 more to the house yeah. for 75? Like, he took it like – I don't know. He took it like whatever. I think it was 75 yards, so he probably yeah. caught it about 25 deep. Mm-hmm. He said he prefers them balls. He said he don't like the deep ball. He said the Chiefs didn't want to – he said the Chiefs didn't want to pay him what, what he was worth. They didn't want to pay him Devontae Adams plus money. They said they didn't use utilize him the way he wanted to be utilized, and uh, and then of course he said two was a more accurate passer. This is all said on the "It Needed to Be Said" podcast. By the way, go check it out. I mean, I, you know, I'm all for sport. I, but uh, yeah, these are all the things he said. So so go ahead, Walt. Well, I mean, that, that's a lot to say about it. You know, your ex quarterback that you know you just want. Well, I won't say just won a Super Bowl with maybe like with a year or two ago, but I mean. I feel like we all agree here that my my home is definitely a better, you know, quarterback, accurate quarterback. And I would definitely rather have my homes on my team than, you know, Toa. But, you know, that's I just that's just me saying of, you know, my eye test, you know, what I've seen from Patrick Mahomes. I haven't really seen too much of Toa because of the fact of his injuries uh has kind of held him back, you know, since he's been at Bama. So I'm not saying that he don't have that potential to to get there, but to actually just say that right now, especially just out of the situation that you just got of, I just felt like that's just he'll just trying to stick up for his quarterback. You know what I'm saying? He's he's my quarterback, as you know, T.O. would say. So, I mean, he's just saying, I feel like he's just trying to say all the right stuff just to get that chemistry down. So, I, I, I really don't think he believes that, but I think he's just trying to say the right things just because of the, the, the new organization that he's in with now. So, I guess I, you know, kudos to you know you trying to stick up for your quarterback though. But yeah. Smoking something, bro. <laughs> I have a different opinion. I think he was just trying to kick off his podcast. I think he was just trying to say a bunch of stuff to get his podcast out there to get people like us talking about it. And of course, people. That might be it, it. Too. That's facts. That's facts. I really do, man. Like honestly, but he, I, I want to talk about this later on eventually. But like people, these athletes keep talking about this new media. Where, where we only hype people. We never talk bad about people. But anytime you compare someone, you're automatically putting the other person down. Like, that's that's not you, – you don't just get to say two was better and then pretend like you didn't take a shot at the other guy. So I don't know what this, like, only positive media is. Like, I'm all for it. I love it. But, like, whenever you're comparing two people, you have to – you know what I mean? Like, you, you kind of have to say one player is better than the other. Wait, wait. So – um. I love it. He's hyping his guy. He's, you know, he's people getting people excited about Miami football. Like, you know, Miami fans, they have something to be excited about this year. They really should. Statistically, um, Tua had a better pack, uh, accuracy rating than, than Mahomes last year by like one and a half points, like one and a half percent. Also, Tua was second, was second in the league in, or he was second le- most, second least in the league in, in, passes past 25 yards so like you know it's a lot easier to be accurate when you're chad pennington throwing throwing 15 yard balls all day but the second you got to start putting the balls out there it's the different story so we'll see man i'm excited because tua finally has that guy now that he can throw you know but also if tyree kill thinks that they're not going to utilize him as a deep ball receiver i don't like they're definitely going to miami's not just going to be like oh you don't like deep balls all right, fine. We won't throw him none. Like, nah, he, he's going to be a deep ball receiver still. And, uh, but, you know, hey, if he wants to go between the numbers, I, I'd like to see that too, man. I, I'd like, but. I don't see a t- Tyreek Hill going up the middle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying if that's what he wants, if that's what he wants, I, I'm, I, I, I want to see it. I want to see it. But listen, I want, I also want to see him have a long career too. So, right. Uh, I don't want to see it too much. But man, I mean, he led the he led the team in catches. He led the team in targets. He led he led the team in touchdowns. Like, what more did he need to be utilized? Like, so I, I'm not sure exactly, but I like it from a perspective of a hey, he's bringing interest to his show. He's not just coming out and saying like generic statements and whatever. But um, at the same time, you know, I, do I agree with it? No, but that that that's that's beside the point. Like, it doesn't really matter if I agree with it or not. We'll see. You know, I, I still think Miami's going to be great this year. And so is Tua. I, I'm excited to see what they can do. They, yeah. look, yeah. they look good on paper, but they got to, they got to back that. They got to back it up. <laughs> they look good in OTAs, but yeah. uh, we'll see. We, we got to see what they look like in that regular season. I agree with Walt. 
Well, both, both of you, really. I think he's just doing it for rating. Because it's like, you know, why why do you feel this way all of a sudden? That you going Well, hang on now. Hang on, because I did say I thought there was something off about the fact that he wasn't in any of Pat Mahomes' wedding pictures and then, like, and then stuff like that. I called this, yeah, like, but, I mean, you can be a bad person, but. Before I mean, there are ever trade talks or anything. True, but it's it's like why like it's 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 almost like everything is pointed at Pat. Every you know every time he praises to it, it's like you got to put down Pat. It's like, bro, just take. Me, I feel like they just giving Pat more ammunition right now. Like you, yeah, because it was, like, yeah, it was his show. It's not like he went on a show and people asked him these questions. This was his show. He volunteered all this information. But that's what I'm saying. Why? Yeah, right. You're just coming for Pat. Pat ain't I even, agree. you know, I could see if Pat was like, shoot, be a lot better now that he gone or something, you know. Pat been in his own world, and you just blast him, my man, at every waking moment. But, you know, I hope, you know, I hope he can keep that production because, you know, one thing is about the NFL, I've never played, but uh, when you don't produce the same like you used to, they start trying to take money out of your pocket. So you know, I hope Tariq can have that same production he had in uh he had in Kansas City. I hope too is accurate for him. I wonder do they do they play each other this year? I think that's they where do. that uh keep looking up wall, but that's that's where that um what do you call it uh, that that guaranteed Deshaun Watson money comes in, right? Because yeah, you might have signed for two hundred million, but when it says you know eighty million guaranteed. Uh, you know, it's it's a big difference, you know, because after two, three years, they're like, oh, we don't need you no more. Right. Or you're not producing like we taught you. Would. So, uh, no, nah, they don't play each other this year. That's we're going to we're gonna cut you. Shoot, he got to worry about playing Buffalo twice, New England twice, even a tough Jets defense twice, you know. Because the thing is, you know, you went, you went to a situation to where you don't know if your quarterback can stay healthy. Like, yeah, yeah, you're doing all this praising, but, you know, Tua take the wrong hit. He can be out for the year. One of the things I took from his statement about I want to catch it 15 and run 50 with it was almost like I want to take the credit. This is obviously this is kind of a shot I'm firing at him, and this is, you know, I'm reading into his statement, but it's almost like saying I want my quarterback to not get any credit for it. You know what I mean? Like he pitched it to me, and then I did the rest kind of thing. And by the way, that's every receiver's dream, right? But, you know, listen, being able to catch that, right? Because you, you get that Hail Mary. It's like, oh, Russell Wilson threw this Hail Mary. It's like, okay, but but I caught it, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, And so a lot of times quarterback gets credit for that kind of stuff. So I understand receivers, like, they, they do, right? The ideal is the quarterback gets no credit. You know what I mean? He handed it to me, and I did all the rest kind of attitude. But – um. You know, but at the same time, so that's just, that's a receiver thing. You know, we want all the credit, but at the same time, man, I want them deep balls too, man. <laughs>